Once in a while, we do these serious ones about unsolved murders or mysteries involving crimes. Today we delve into the case of an unidentified body of a young woman found on the 19th of February 1971 in Lake Penasovsky, Florida. This is the series where I tell you a story, its subsequent theories and explanations, and then I let you make up your mind. We delve into a 45-year-old mystery of an unidentified young woman found murdered and dubbed Little Miss Lake Panasovsky. Her partially submerged body was found floating beneath a highway overpass by two teenage hitchhikers. She wore a green shirt, plaid trousers and a green floral poncho on top. Found with her were a gold watch, gold necklace and a gold ring, with transparent stone around her ring finger indicated she might have been married. After forensic examination, it was concluded she was killed 30 days prior and a man's 36 size belt around her neck indicated strangulation as a possible cause. In 86, the body was exhumed and examined and it was determined she was between the ages of 17 and 24, weighed about 52 kilos or 115 pounds and measured between 1.57 and 1.65 meters or between 5 feet, feet 2 and 5 feet 5 inches in length. She had received extensive dental work including several silver tooth fillings and a porcelain crown and had borne at least one child. One of her ribs was cracked at the time of death, suggesting the killer might have knelt on her chest when she was strangling her. During a 2012 exemption and examination, it was determined she was of American or European descent and malnutrition had briefly arrested her growth during childhood. Lead isotope examination placed her south of Athens, Greece up until a year prior to her death. Hair examination placed her in Florida less than two months. An operation involving tendon stretching was performed on her right angle at the age of 16, indicating she might have sprained it several times prior to the procedure and the discomforting chronical bone tissue inflammation was found in her left leg. In 1971, a facial reconstruction was done in an attempt to show what she may have looked like in various stages of her life. Another one was done in 2012, showing a significant visual difference. She was never identified and her killer remains unknown as well. Nobody actually knows who she really is. There is one possibility, however, stemming from the clues leading to Greece. While being featured on a Greek missing person show, a phone call came in from a woman who identified the dead woman as Constantina, who had a brother in the Navy near Lavrio in the United States. The caller explained that she was in a school with Constantina being taught home economics. They were with several other girls, were in a program that sent them to either the United States or Australia, with a two-year contract for work. The caller lost contact with her as Constantina ended up in the States, 
while she was sent to Australia. On an update of the show, another woman called in claiming that the two other girls went with Constantina to the States and their whereabouts are also unknown. Upon seeing the show, a daughter of one of these girls called to say her mother was sent to Australia instead and is alive and well. No new clues have come in up until now. Her killer is also not known for certain though several theories are considered in this case. In December 74, serial killer John Paul Knowles was killed during an escape attempt by the partner of case officer Chief Ed Galvin. Knowles had been in and out of prison up to May 74 when he started his killing spree which costed the life of up to 20 victims. Galvin noted the similarities between the murders Knowles committed and several killings before 74, including the one of little Miss Panasovsky. Apart from this, no evidence exists for this theory, however. Why did no one report her missing? Was there no family or spouse or are they dead somewhere else? Did she have the child out of wedlock and was discarded by her family? Or did her family even know she was missing? In 71 there was no internet, it was all paper. And when she didn't come home, how would they contact a police office in the United States? They were different times altogether. And what about the child? Was she too young to remember? Given up for adoption or was it a stillborn? Several people believe she was either killed by her family or her husband. Maybe the husband was abusive and or drunk and killed her either intentionally or in a fit of rage or a drunken stupor. And discarded her body telling everyone she ran off or return to Greece. The malnutrition in her past might suggest her family didn't care one way or another and that might have attracted her to abusive men. Did she go to the States alone and became the victim of a sexual predator? Or maybe she was abducted once she arrived in the States and used for sex trafficking? A myriad of theories are possible on this one. First of all, who is she and could she be the Constantina from the phone call? And next, who killed her and what were the circumstances? You decide. Should you know any more information about this case, contact information is in the description below. Please be respectful in the comments and if you know of any crime committed or being committed, you should always contact your local police office with the correct information. And I will see you next week with some lighter material, hopefully. Did you like the video? Click the like button. Leave comments or start a discussion in the comment box. If you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. I have a vlog channel, so if you want to get bored, why don't you check it out? And you can follow me on social media. All links in the description. See you next time!